see where I'm at. I'm more north with it. There's a car coming. But welcome back to the channel, man. Y'all are about to officially see what is 350 North. And who is this young nigga right here? I am 350 Russ and I am here to share with you guys my testimony. Um, let's start with 350 North. Okay, 350 North. Obviously, we're clearly located in LaPorte, Indiana in the country, bro. But fuck nowhere. Um, yeah, but I have uh, about six... I don't really know how many aunts and uncles I have, to honestly, but you're gonna hear it, this story. I mean, you're gonna hear me list them all, and I just can't think of it off the top of my head. So 2022, February of 2022, both my parents passed away from a carbon monoxide leak in the house, and my brother was in the house as well, and he survived it, but uh, went through some very uh, difficult challenges, and I'm very thankful the for him to still be alive and be here today. But um, I was at school at Indiana University while it happened and I, I'll fill you guys in. Um, we have a family group chat and I knew that, it's gonna sound crazy, but I knew that my parents, something was up because my parents don't ever not answer their phone and neither does my brother. Like that's just not something they would do. So for like two days, they didn't answer. I'm asking people around like my aunt Chig bunch of people I'm asking around they're not knowing anything and then I'm after asking some of my friends at school I'm like man y'all y'all know this is kind of weird bro like they're not even answering folks so we go to um I oh my god uh what was I about to say okay so now I'm asking people around what's what's the word da, da, da. then I get a phone call from my aunt Cal and she's saying like What's your code to get into the garage? The police want to know what the code is. Da, 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 da. I tell her the code and then on the phone she goes, oh no, the police won't let us in. Da, 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 da. So instantly I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? What's going on? Tell me what the hell's going on. But I instantly knew. I kind of already knew. I had a feeling. It sounds crazy. I'm telling you guys, this sounds crazy. But I had a feeling that, I had a feeling that that was, that was what was going to happen. So I start freaking out calling people that who didn't even know I hung up I already knew they didn't have to say that my parents were gone but I already knew and um, we had uh, I called some people they didn't know some people truly didn't know but back to Janelle she comes she's at IU and she comes to um, she comes to my dorm takes my phone keep in mind this is a three and a half hour trip that we're about to take from Bloomington to the Port Indiana with no phone, with the cousin, who I obviously love, but we don't hang out like that. What is there to talk about, other than family? So what are we talking about the whole car ride? My parents, why they made her lie to me about my parents, you know, da da da, -da. I don't know why. And, I, and I, I've always loved Janelle for that, but I don't know who made that conscious decision because it clearly wasn't the smartest thing. Because I bet you she suffers from that because that was just dumb. I'm a grown man. They could have just told me up front. I already knew. Um, but that's besides the point anyway. Um, so yeah, we ride all the way home and I'm talking about my parents. Janelle's not saying a damn thing. She's not saying no words, nothing. We get back to the crib. You guys will learn eventually. I have a little history of my family. Uh, it is what it is. So when we pull up to the um, crib, she goes, we got to go to this house. Yeah. She said we gotta go to this house because her sister needs to get her dress picked up. Okay, Janelle. Why would I? Okay, Janelle. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna do too much on here. I'm just gonna say okay. There's 30. Not even 30 cars. There's like 20 cars. What did they? Do they think I'm stupid? That's all right. I'm not gonna go do too much here, but they do that. I go in the house. They just stare at me. Walk in. Just say nothing. They say nothing, they just stare at me. So I'm like, are you guys gonna say something? Like, <laughs> what? Like, why are you guys just staring at me all with puppy eyes? Hand me, the, hand me the bad news already. I already know what it is, you know what I'm saying? So they tell me and I'm like, all right, I'm not even gonna say what I said, but more of the story is we figure out, we go to the hospital and we go see Eric and I go see him. 
and then that's that. And then I stay in South Bend for like the next week or two with my cousin Terrell because they didn't think I was strong enough. And like I said, I got walked over. I mean, I had to say so in this whole process. Didn't let anybody walk all over me, but there were some decisions that were made that I truly didn't have any say so over. Like what funeral home we were gonna go to, if they, I wanted my parents embalmed or not. Um, there was a bunch of things that this were just like discredited and just, it just was a slap in the face. And it is what it is, I'm over it now. I'm, I'm, I'm over it now, I'm healed over it. But in that moment, it, it was pretty bad. But um, I, we buried our parents in a beautiful way, beautiful man, it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful funeral. And uh, my uncle tells me about, talks to me about that all the time. But um, so then, yeah, so from that point, I have to figure out this, this is where the story gets kind of wicked. So the next day, after I, I wake up from hearing the news and I'm in South Bend, my parents have passed away. My Aunt Chick and Uncle Scott come over because I'm staying with Terrell. And they go, Jalen, your life is officially changed, brother in Christ. You now have to put your name on everything. You're, you have to be, you got to grow up, little nigga. I'm 22 at the time. I'm blacking out and bars uh, every weekend at IU. Asking my parents for fifty dollars because I'm a broke college kid. Jalen doesn't even know what life insurance is. Jalen doesn't even know. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell y'all. I didn't know what the fuck was going on in the situation, but I still made it happen. But uh, she goes, "Yeah, man, you got to put your name on everything because if you don't, they go fuck you over." And I'm like, "No, it's family, man. It's family. I don't care how deep this shit gets." Family. There's no way any of my family members will fuck me over when their siblings just passed away and my both my parents just passed away and I'm 22 and my brothers can't even remember how to count to 10 right now. So there's no way that I'm gonna get fucked over. Woo! Stay tuned, you guys are sadly mistaken. So hold on. Ooh, it's pretty. Y'all give me some names, what I should name her. But anyway. So Wait, what was I even talking about? Um, you gotta put your name on everything, this and the third. Okay, um, and I'll say stay tuned. Okay, so then I, so then I do that. I make all, I get a lawyer, I get all those things taken care of, I get, I get everything straight because they help me. And I was like, all right, bet. So, um, once we get that taken care of, my aunts and uncles up here, who I don't already don't have like I mean I, don't get me wrong I love them I have nothing but love for them, um, but they did me wrong and they know they they know what they did uh, and it is what it is I got nothing but love for them and I won't even try not to speak negatively on them but it, I don't even want to I really don't I love them so much that I really don't even want to spread this light about them but it's my story it happened they did what they did and um, it is what it is but uh, we um. Get everything put into my name. My uncle's like, hey, you gotta make. You know, wait, what the fuck did I say? Uh, okay, so like a week goes past, there's a bunch of decisions that need to be made that I haven't already made. One the decision that needs to be made is do I wanna bury my parents this week? Uh, Cause Eric won't be released from the hospital. Or two, we wait, push it back another week uh, to see if Eric recovers because Eric was not literally, Eric literally was not supposed to pass, uh, be alive. But he is a walking miracle. I'm so thankful. I cry tears every night just to be, just to see him, just to be thankful for him, his existence. He really is a miracle, y'all. And um, so we have a meeting with my mother's and dad's side of my, yeah, well, my mother's side of the family, and they don't want certain people there. Uh, they, they pick out favorites, so they don't, they don't know that I ask certain people who, my family's divided, and that's a whole other story by itself, uh, but I ask people who are on the other side of the family to come with me uh, to this meeting because I, I thought they were gonna come and speak up for me and like not let me get, you know, walk, walked all over. Um, and that wasn't gonna happen regardless, but you know, um, when you lose both your parents, man, you you lost, bro. I mean, that's a very tough thing to do. And I truly was like, there's not very many times where I'm like scared of, 
I'm not ever scared of man, but like in this truth, in this instance, when I was going into this meeting, I truly was scared of my uncle because I knew how like wicked and how like it's a cult, man. I knew how wicked this this family is, and uh, it just got, it got ugly really fast. So like the moral of the story is we go to this meeting and they want to talk about life insurance, da 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 da, this, that, and the third, and it's a piss. It becomes a pissing contest between my uncle, my uh, the eldest uncle and then the cult leader of this family. And um, it becomes a pissing, uh, pissing contest. They're like, who's your lawyer? I tell them who my lawyer is. They're like this, ah, ah. They go, uh, as they say, who, who, who's this, who's that? I give them answers in the most respectful manner. They go, ah, ah, ah. They're just screaming at me. One of my aunts even said I was the devil. I had the demon in me. So then like, I just want you guys to understand like, my family was acting crazy. They told me this. Had I not had my family on face, my dad's side of the family on FaceTime, this nigga told me he had to sign off on everything I signed off on because I'm not old enough. I'm 22 years old. What do you mean? And my aunt was like, Jalen, this nigga is lying. And I corrected him. And then that's when it got into this like, like this pissing contest because they realized that, hey, this little nigga is not a bitch. You can't just walk all over him. And like, you guys know this older generation, and I'm a very respectful young man. There's, there was no disrespect at all towards this. It was yes, ma'am, no, sir. But what this older generation doesn't understand is that just because you were older than me does not mean that you are uh, more intelligent than me. You got more, I mean, yeah, you might have more, you know, better life experiences than me, but that don't mean that you, you, you can just belittle me because of my age. That's not true. I just lost two of my parents. I grew up at a very young age. I just lost it all. I'm about, what I'm about to tell you, I just lost this house. I lost this house. I lost a brand new Kia K5 2022. It was paid off brand new, lost it all. And I didn't do this with their help. I went a whole year, I went a whole year into depression and I cut off every single last person. And I had zero dollars to my name for probably like Probably like six months, man. I'm talking about down bad. Literally three months ago, I had no money to my name. But here's the goes the testimony. I, in the month of February, put God first. I said, God, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna put you first. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put you first. I'm gonna surrender. So for the whole month of February, I just went to church and just took pictures just did it and it turned out to be like some of the greatest work I've ever done like it took it honestly took my photography level to another to another level but it also took my relationship with God to another level but there's a lot of things in that month of February that I had to get rid of and let's start off with this emotion and hate spite um, anger I had all of those and rightfully so I mean I'm not even really going too much into detail that what really all happened, you know, but I'm just trying to give y'all, you know, the little, uh, you know what I'm saying, like the little just of it. But I rightfully so had a reason to be completely angry with these people and never talk to them again. Like, one of my aunts slapped me in my face at church. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, and I didn't do nothing. I smiled in her face and said, yes, ma'am, love you still. Like, hey, I had to learn these things. But hey, there's this, this thing that what my uncle had, my uncle was telling me, you gotta kill him with kindness, bro. To, to be to be where I am right now, because I'm gonna be honest with you, I tried to commit suicide. I definitely did. God wouldn't let me, uh, cause I couldn't hold my breath underneath the water long enough. Uh, I never thought I'd be happy again. Little did I know, being happy is a choice. You could well be happy every day. Like you, it doesn't matter what situation it is, you could choose to be happy. I never thought I would. I, when you have a kid, Kate, when you were 22 years old and you are comparing yourself to others, it kills joy. So y'all need to get rid of that, that, for, that, that right now. Everybody lives a perfect life on social media. That's not the case. That's literally not the case. Like, you will never know what I'm going through because, I mean, you will now understand, now you will understand what I'm going through, but like, when I was in depression and all that stuff like that, y'all would not know that unless you truly knew who, like, you, like I was talking to you. But there's no reason for me to put that out there. Why would I want to put that out there? But I put it out there now to, to let you guys know that, hey, I went through this. 
and I am now here and you guys can do it if you just put your trust in God that's that's really what I'm trying to get to that's really the message right now like me getting this K I had a Kia, Kia K5 I'm 22 years old with a hundred thousand dollars at in Bloomington what can you tell a, uh, him what can you tell that kid you can't tell him nothing because all his white boys and all his other friends that come from money they really haven't. They they spend a credit card. They really haven't. But I'm I'm really spending a year salary. I'm spending a year salary, not even really thinking. And guess what? I didn't have that money. I didn't have I probably had a hundred grand for six months and I was broke. Dead broke. Didn't tell nobody. Just went up. Went dead broke, went under for a whole year, and I'm just now shaking back. And I'm not embarrassed of it. I am who I am. All, all, all that all of this, me losing this house, me never thinking like this, we lost this house. I'm about to get it back. I'm about to get it back. And that was super nice. It's even nicer than when I, how we lost. Like, it's, I thought I was going to get a used kick. Uh, it's just crazy, man. Like, my, the, the story is, is outrageous. And I just, I just really hope that I can inspire all you guys. And I really hope that God, you put God first. I really hope that you put God first. That is really the message here. And go like and subscribe. Uh, this is Hi, this is Jaden Russell. I'm uh, calling for the property uh, about se on 741 West 50 North. Um, I'm wondering how much is the property going for and... Oh, Jalen, you were one of the occupants, right? It, it yeah. closes tomorrow. Oh, it's already um, sold? It's closing tomorrow, yeah. It oh, went on the market for 395 Okay. Um, That's all I need to know. We really don't need to go any further in the conversation. I was about to buy it myself, but okay. Okay. All right, thanks. You said you were about to buy it yourself? Yeah. You got approved? I was about to. I mean, I like, I have the money. I have the amount to do it and everything. I just didn't know it was sold already. But it's all good. I'm going to get something better.